Ago, 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 Chio malamo, chio Wusi wusuma ya dia basum, wusi wusuma ya dia basum, ye 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 wusi wusuma ya dia basum. Eti obru ma ko, 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 obru ma ko.
Choboy. 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 Divine energies and the great worthy ancestors. Yes. Now let's welcome back home. This is home. This is Africa. Africa is the home. And Africa is the throne. Africa is the home. And Africa is the throne. Out of jealousy and enviness, the Neanderthals, those who then live in the in the what in the caves, the Neanderthals, the Caucasians, try to break the divine structure of the Creator. For that matter, as of now, the world, the entire world, has no leader. Do you agree with me? Yes. When we were we in the Kerman, mm -hmm. now called Egypt, we had Kerman town. You were told a year ago, for the member Kermit, we had we had job plan here. Agu, Agu, Agu. Thank you. We shall come back to. That aspect, but let's put it aside and focus on the divine healing of the herbs. All right, without wasting much time, I start with stone breaker, the botanical name. Are you via? I want to know you are there for me. Me can you a herman call a low and who from Koika Nyatoba or Yonani. We, we have our divine sacred names that we mention to the herbs when harvesting them. And we speak to them for divine healing. And when we administer or we implement or apply this to the sick person, he or she get healed. Not that the sickness or the disease get managed. No, but he or she get healed. Mm -hmm. Ashe. 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 This is the stone breaker. Stone breaker. It's a plant that does not bear flowers before getting its seeds. It bears the seeds direct. And it hides its seeds under the armpit of its leaves. Protect the leaves till the seed is fully matured to recreate. Before it can fall and have contact with the mother earth. And then reproduce in quantities. Isn't this amazing? Mm -hmm. So we have been brainwashed to extend that our foreparents use machete or cutlasses and hoes to farm. But we are thinking we have been brainwashed to believe that we have to kill the healing herbs with weedy sides. Mm. Spraying them, we are destroying our own land. Mm -hmm. The fanties have a song they sing. They say, Ejin Deliem, Sanari Ye Warao, Ejin Deliem, Sanari Ye Warao, Ejin Deliem, 
Sanari ye wara ohu ejinde ye me sanari ye wara ohu ago amen you think that you are doing somebody else or you are doing me not knowing you are causing harm to yourself the Caucasians always look up to Africa for survival mm -hmm. but they they are not interested in the people of the land of Africa mm -hmm. but they are interested in only the resources and unfortunately the masses of the Africans mm -hmm. have bought into their wicked agenda and they are the ones holding the baton That's right. going the race for them mm -hmm. But we thank the divine energies and the ancestors that we have seen the light and we are coming back home. Ashe! Ashe! We are coming back home. The black magic. <laughs> when, when Africa was then the, 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 at the highest hierarchy in, 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 in as much as divine human beings' activities are, are, are concerned, in the ancient Kemet or Kem, mm -hmm. they came to learn. Mm -hmm. Due to arrogancy, jealousy, enviness, they couldn't even complete what they are supposed to learn. And, and there's a saying that half of education is what? It's poisonous. So they think they know. We, out of our hearts, our divine will, we accepted them to teach them, to train them. They begin to learn one or two things and realize that oh, they can do one or two things by themselves. Then they have to run away and then turn everything upside down. Then they write books, put gods in, in, in these books, religious books, bring to Africa to brainwash us, to depart from our divine way. Now let us go back to our roots and hold back to our cultural traditions and our heritage. That is our power. He who loses his spiritual strength has lost the battle. Right. In advance, before you even begin to struggle as if maybe you can stand the oppressor. This is the stone breaker, <laughs> not go far. And anyone that is suffering from, because it, it's all about the feminine energy. I will be adding a bit of the masculine, but I will focus more on the feminine energy. If someone is suffering from um, childbirth, you are not able to conceive, okay? You can harvest this one, add a little of ginger, ginger root, fresh ginger, grind it, or blend to with this one, then you use it, you add warm water, then you sieve or strain, then you use it as, as enema. Yeah, those, those of us in Africa, we know enema. Wasano, wasadi. So, in Chi, they say, awuma guechi, or aboma guechi. Some also say truba, but we say pavidama in every, in every language. We say Pavidema or Audi Dava Machiava. If I have a the Kanyama. So, in, in English, the botanical name is called Philantus. Philantus. It is very, very powerful. Any type of malaria parasite in your body system, being typhoid fever, jaundice, any type of malaria fever, just harvest this one. Cook it, wash it thoroughly with salt water first before you rinse it in the clean water. Then you cook it. Just only this one and be drinking. Any form of malaria parasite in your body system will vanish. You get healed, not you go take uh, a pharmaceutical or chemo and it will just be managing your system. No, this heals you. And because it is also a sacred protective herb, we mash it. So that is what I have done with other herbs, whereby I will be explaining them here. So all of us are going to share this one. Everybody is going to have some. You get to your house, 
after taking your usual or normal bath, you can get me a calabash, please. Okay, so you just pour it into the calabash. Then, from within, we don't have any sky daddy over there. The divine is within. So they, they light to us that we should pray. Our Father who art in heaven, where? Ashe! 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 Okay, so you speak your words from within upon it. Then you throw on yourself. Wash your face, throw on yourself. Or oh. when you are done, you just wrap up yourself with cloth or towel. Then you sit down, and then all artificial, let me put it that way, sounds that are under your control must be put off. Then you do meditation during that period till the water dries on your body. Yeah. Some passes through the pores and they enter into you. That is energy. So protection. This one, it has the power when applying or using it to yourself okay it it fortifies your aura your energy your spirit so certain occurrences will happen before you get there or after you africa has the power let us get back to our divine spirituality for our restoration Ashe. That's the stone breaker. So I think you can all feel it. You get it. You see that the, the, after going to checking it, you can pass it on to the next person. You see that the seeds are tiny, tiny, tiny mm. under the leaves. Small, 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 plenty. But once, once I was holding here, you did not see the seeds. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is how you are protected divinely. Mm. The seeds are there. Yes. Thank you very much. Any plant that I pick, I can speak about only that plant for more than an hour. Give different, the, the spiritual aspect and then the medicinal properties. Mm. But because of time, mm. let us limit, uh, you know, the time so that we can, we can absorb more. Next time we meet, we shall continue with that one. Okay, this is porcelain. 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 Very, very, very powerful. When our Yehve, Tohuno, the God of thunder and lightning, when it strikes and someone is at fault or has committed a crime and they summon the person to that energy and it strikes you, this is what the divine priest, Huno, will use this and mash it as I did. And then sprinkle on you, sprinkle around you, before anyone else can touch the body. If you doubt, think that you are a pope or bishop or whatever, whatever, Jesus, whatever, whatever, come and then touch that body. And you see where the African divine power lies. So this is a porcelain. Very, very powerful. And as we are human beings, okay, you might... Through your deeds, you might step on someone's toes. At times, without you knowing, and the one will hold you in his or her heart. Okay? When it happens so, your aura there, there is, has, has opened a portal to, to absorb negative energies. So certain things will be crossing your path in life. So when this is also added to the philanthos or the stone breaker, you mash it then you used to bath, you do your herbal bathing. This is, you can also use this one to prepare steel. Mm -hmm. We have different species. One is called woke or a flatogan. Then this one is a flatosui. This is porcelain. You can eat it. Can use to prepare stew. It's like boko boko. I don't know if some of you have heard of boko boko before. You can harvest fresh of this and also wash it thoroughly in salt 
water and rise it again and clean water plenty into your bowl or plate. Then get fresh coconut water. So whilst you are chewing this one, you are drinking the fresh coconut water. Any problem attacking the chest that they call bronchitis. The the nasal yeah nasal attack that is the sinus mm -hmm. and all the mucus it will just cleanse everything you just then it will come like a clot then you spit it out it will just and a heart attack if you have heart pain your heart I've been paining you feel the pain the heart the there's pressure the heart just get this porcelain fresh wash it very neat. Make sure it is prepared under hygienic condition. Then you get your fresh coconut water, be chewing and be drinking the coconut water. The heart attack away. Cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Divine healing power of the herbs in Africa. These are our traditional herbs. But we have been brainwashed not to use them. They, 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 they lie to us that this one rather give us side effects. And the chemo that they prepare with us from the lab rather is poison or they told us that that is what is authentic for you. But in the account setup, we have a bibidro and then we have a brofodro. A meibo chike. A yevu fa chike. Tana a meibo ine nyea ke no a meibo chike wu. Ze a magbe wu. Ne wu doyo yo. Use natural plants for your healings. Because you are an African. That's why we say nipedua. So if this is the plant, if this is the plant, you are also a plant. But the only difference is that you can move to and fro, like you can go back and forth. But the tree grows up. You, you also grow up, but you can move. That is the only difference. But anything that the, the tree or the plant bears within is also in you. So nature speaks to us through all these things. And if we listen carefully, we will hear and we will understand. As Bob Marley said, he who listens carefully, he will hear. Ashe, this is castor plant. And this is the leaf. It looks like papa leaf. This is the stalk on it. Then you get the, the stem or the trunk. Yes. Now, this one is very, very powerful. You can match also with the other herbs for divine protection to cleanse your aura. You know, we, we bath the body, but how do you bath your spirit? How do you cleanse your aura? Due to certain things that we do, the way how you talk to somebody, the one will feel hurt and that person's energy will be angry with you. Mm -hmm. So these petty, petty, petty things will bring field to your energy. So it will get to a point, you even go to sleep and the dream is not coming any longer. You are no longer dreaming. Or either you dream, by the time you wake up from bed, you are forgotten. It means your aura is not fortified enough to carry information from the spiritual realm into the physical or the material world. So it, it gets there. When it gets to the bridge, then it leaves you there. Then you come with your physical being now. Then the rest of the information that you are supposed to get back here, to implement it, to work with it for elevation, for growth, is kept at the bank of the river. Ashe, so you match this one. The ripe leaf of castor leaves or plants also is used for menstrual cramps that accumulate in the womb of you, the feminine energies. And if it continues, then you start getting, it is developing or growing into fibroid. Yes, yeah, so the ripe one, you add precursor. I hope we all know precursor. Yes. yes. So you go to the, the plant, the castle plant, Jongbale, added in Kruma. You go to this plant, you see the ripe one, yellow or brownish, fall under the tree. Go pick them. Just wash them, two, three eyes, 
put it in a pot, get precursor, cut it into pieces, wash it well, put it into it, add water, boil it, and then be drinking. If you like that the, the blood, uh, the, all the cloth should flow well, add sobolo, or they call it hibiscus. Yeah. You get that sobolo, you, you pour the flour, you wash it well, yes. Please let me have it for, I'll give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you prepare, you're going to get something like this. You see, this is not color, artificial color. This is natural. Mm -hmm. And when it gets into you, you know, you see the information, it looks like blood. And it's going to work and all the fields, clots and all the crumbs and all, you know, just bring everything out from your system and then you are healed. Ashe. Okay, let's continue. I'll finish with this is Azakpo, a Tuonakpo, a Hionakpo, a Langwo Katanakpo. This protects you from sudden occurrences, accidents. You know, as we are here, somebody will just, any introduction can just come in, shoot, start shooting. You just say Azakpo. Whilst using this one, you mentioned that, you just squat or go down. The, the bullet will not, you know, locate you. It will just, you know, go wayward. Yes, Azakbo. And the flowers looks like uh, the V area of our feminine energy. But unfortunately, this one has closed up. I wish the camera could pick it, but it is closed up. Um, the last session that we had, I've planted some here. And I could see, yes, just last session of this very meeting that we had. Yes, I planted some of the seeds and it started growing. Very soon it will grow and then cover, give us nice shade over here. And we get a lot of the flowers on it. You pick them, get your hot water into a glass, pick the flowers, put into it, cover it up. And then if you do diffusion, it will infuse into it, then the water will change into this color. Then you strain and drink. All problem, you know, from the womb all to the down there, everything be clean. Yes. You mash this also with the other ones that I've talked about. Okay. This is Momodika. Kakle, kakle, nyenya, nyanyana. Yes, and it is very, very, very powerful. They lied to us that a serpent went to deceive Eve, and <laughs> out of that, Eve ate, eventually ate the apple. The apple. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so on and so forth. <laughs> okay, so any plant that has vine, like the Azakpo, this one. The Azakpo, the English name is butterfly pea. Sorry, I did not say butterfly pea. Yes, 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 yes. So, any plant that has the vine, that can climb, that can, you know, creep, is of the serpent energy. Very, very powerful. So why is it that it is the snake that made us entered into sin. But in the hospital, the symbol they use is the snake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if so, something that destroys, why do you use it as a symbol of salvation or, or, or giving life? So it means it is not true. From the, according to their own receipt, they went to the market and from the market, the receipt they brought that, oh, I've bought this stuff and this stuff, or this, these are the the, the amount, how the money had been used in the market. Per the receipt, when we match them into reality, it does not match, it does not tally, it does not make sense, no logic. Right. That is why, unfortunately, we are used to be controlled by them with these religious books. Our ancestors wrote divine books that we can read, learn, do research, help ourselves with it and make impact on the next generation so let us all try the best we can and do our best so that 
when we transit, will be qualified to be among the worthy ancestors mm -hmm. and will give food offering, drink offering, libation, and we invoke your power, your energy for us, to us, by us. Right. I have not seen any Caucasian offering libation or doing performing rituals, calling the, the divine ancestors of Africa to help them. They do unto their own. Yes, yes. So if we call our own or our ancestral way of life, we call it demonic or whatever right, it is. Right, right. Don't forget the right hand washes the left and the left also washes the right. right. So if you call them devil or demons, yeah. then it will get your turn, whereby the next generation will also call you the same name. Mm -hmm. So we pay homage. We revere our ancestors. That doesn't mean we go and then we abandon our ancestors and not. No. We bear their DNA. Mm. So whatever we do to them, it is to us. Ashe. 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 Okay. So this has a very powerful healing powers. The same thing. Malaria. Jaundice, fever, whatever. Now, this also has the power to treat any transmitted disease, STDs, staphylococcus or whatever, mm -hmm. syphilis, gonorrhea, candy, and so on and so forth. It also has the power to also cleanse your, your lungs. If you are not breathing well, short. <laughs> So your lungs have to be expanding, closing like that. If it is not able to work well, then it is mucus. Or any viral infection is attacking, attacking your respiratory system. So get this, cook it, and then be drinking. It is very, very powerful. It is bitter though, but it, it is, yes. Yes. That is it. And, and, and with the gonorrhea how to treat this with gonorrhea okay get this if you get pestle and mortar just pound it you have as you wash it thoroughly very neat twice or thrice then you pound it you can even add our local garlic small small red 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 one pound it with it get fresh coconut water or palm wine fresh palm wine pour it onto it mix it well then you sieve it fill the bottles or the gallons down put it in the refrigerator and be drinking twice a day twice a day by one two weeks from seven to 14 days that thing must stop must vanish from your system totally yes you mash also this one and then use for your herbal or oral bathing so at, at this juncture i will Ask my brother to, so the water we are all going to have it. So Nana Odikro, please. So you can you can ask questions before I proceed. Yes, please. Some of the plants you said you wash with salt water. Yeah. Then wash with clear water mm -hmm. before you put water in. Yeah, yeah. Why do you wash with salt water? Thank you very much. You wash with salt water because you are not going to cook it, and the salt has the medicinal property that can kill all the germs or bacteria on the leaves because you went to harvest it naturally from mm -hmm. source, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, so you have to do that then because there are certain things on it that your eyes cannot, physical eyes cannot see. So when you do that, the salt water will heal or cleanse all that, then it becomes hygienic. Before you cleanse or you rinse it again in clean water again, then you you use it. Thank you very much for the question. Okay, any question again? Then we continue. Okay, okay. You say salt water and mean getting water from the ocean? No, mm. salt. You get your water and put for salt, salt into it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, to wash it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Salt that we into I mean, water, water that we put, put salt, salt in into it, yes. Then, yeah, yeah, you used to wash it, yes. Okay, as for this one, I would like the 
video to capture it well yes okay i hope we have all seen this even it is just in front of abomes door not the gate just the door on the right is there if you go it is there right now okay it is called damiana damiana or damayana you see people grow this in their homes but yeah you have just around even it's at your door from your gate on the right where the corner is yeah is there right now yeah you know we we the natural herbal practitioners whilst we are walking we are seeing medicines or we see medicine but those that do not know they just see bush or flowers or <laughs> or weeds okay yes but all over all over they are around us yes so that is it what does this do this very one that is what i have prepared into this i dried it so at least everybody will get a little to prepare his or her tea okay this heal you from depression anxiety low libido the feminine energies that is why i purposely you know go in that aspect yes you you ask i've harvested harvested it like this just get it like that then you dry you can put it on under shade or airy place it will be there then it gets dry like this after that you can pound or do whatever you do to get the powder you put it in a container cover it down you take one or two spoonful of the powder into warm water in a glass then you add one or two spoonful of pure honey until you stir then you are sipping you can do it twice a day three hours a day once a day depending on your time schedule yes at least at least once a day and i ma made mention of you dreaming and then waking up forgetting about your dream so if you start drinking this you start getting your dreams right you start getting your dreams right you eat it you get in tune with your inner self or your higher self properly so when you dream you have to from since if you have started taking this one you have to be very observant watching your dreams your actions things you say and you get certain you know thoughts or feelings or sound mm. voice whichever way you like to name it okay and when you get that when you speak mm, this is what i'm thinking and truly to that thing will happen yes so it position you well in your divine way to your inner self or your higher self yes man know thyself so that is the diamond you can also after getting it dry like this you do it this way then you put you put it in a earthenware or pot like that then you put coal fire on it just put it on it you can put it in front of your house or in your room just let it then you sit down you do meditation whilst the smoke mm. you do meditation mm. quiet place with it very 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 powerful mm. but people just grow it for you know to beautify their homes but they don't know the part they know that but they will not even allow anybody to mm -hmm. you can share with your fellow but you not allow somebody to you know come and take everything away or come and then even destroy it some people grow this one and it will you know dominate the the entire compound 
then they would rather go and buy we decide and hire somebody to come and skill then the one after that the one what what we do in africa here okay we say our uh, ancestors are witches and wizards and they are tormenting our lives but this is what to save you or you know position you back to your divine way for you to get things right you have sprayed this with we decide somebody has brought that to you to brainwash you you spread it out then you are now blaming your ancestors that they are witches and wizards tormenting your life whereby this is the savior our ancestors know this okay so that is it any question we have had a lot of things any question how can i grow it you you have some you don't have i don't have any okay so we'll check the one i've seen the other ones but not this one i know i see the i see the ladies in the area where i'm gathering yeah yeah that is why i've given it to you 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 can what i've given you you can keep it yes. to yourself okay mm -hmm. then you steady look at it very well yes. then you check okay. yes so okay. that you can you can be able to identify it yes yes because i may be throwing it away pulling it up not so, knowing what it is i've been doing so that with the other put it in your bag yeah. yeah okay I've all right all right now back to the last one this is this is Kamara Alanta. Kamara Alanta. Uh, or you just if you say Google you say Kamara plants or herb, it will pop up. Yes. Yeah. Now this has also been dried. Process like that. You can do it like that. You get the powder. So you can pound or grind or meal or whatever you do to get a powder, okay? Make a fine powder of this one. Then you bottle it or put it in a container with a cover. Fine. You woke up early sunrise. You take a teaspoonful of the powder into warm water in a glass or a cup. Then you add a little of pure honey. Then you stir. You drink as tea without adding milk or any no white sugar please either pure honey or date date we have the soft one yes you can use that one yes you can pick a little then you you smell or feel it but it's tony so pick the leaves so that you know this is different yeah this is this is damiana and this one is camara let me add the gum and me and me on a jam cookie jam cookie a proper club way a low have you trick 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 oh john other new energy a cool net dia a quarter on as black then yeah every vina then yeah jam cookie camera you used to prepare tea this is very very powerful than any other retentive memory medication in the pharmacy So you dried it? Yes, I prepared this one. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So so anything that you want to do that depends on the usage of the brain or the memory, you will be taking this one. So so do you now from stress and you know yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So I brought this one also after teaching then i will share with you mm. the last the sub, uh, the previous session that we had i brought the fresh one to teach ah. them but this time around i decided to prepare it ready so that to share with you and also thank you for coming thank you for coming yes to thank you for coming yes so that is it all right so, so when we make the Mm -hmm. US mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Voodoo, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. And I know my grandmother, mm. we remember the smell, mm -hmm. the taste, but we didn't know the Okay, food. okay, so here you are now. Yeah. That is why I said Africa is home, Africa yeah. is the throne. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yes. I remember the smell and the taste of what she gave us for everything. Mm.
beautiful. So that is a um, um, uh, living testimony. Yes, very, 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 very powerful. Yes. Uh, in, in our farm lands, uh, arable lands, people just kill it with weedy sides, just like that. You know, so. Oh, yeah. You, you can even chew like that, dry. Okay. Any question? Any question about the herbs? This one was called what? Kamara. 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 Yeah. Kamara. Okay. It's all you dry. Yeah, you go have it. It is very, it is very tony. So when when harvesting, you be careful so that you don't get otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Just the leaves. Yes. Okay. Then after that you dry it and then well dry. Then you make your fine powder. Alright, so King Jerry will be preparing for the interview with uh, so here we end the the the, the herbal teaching segment. And uh, if you don't have any question, then we can continue. Okay, so...
hallelujah for them. Powerful. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the powerful performance. Thank you very much for the powerful performance. Yes. So. Abu. Amen. Abu. Amen. Abu. Amen. That is the vibration of the African rhythm. Yes. Yes. It is something that when you are hearing it, it vibrates through the earth. For women. Get into your feet through the body. And then it will vibrate and give you healing, give you relief. And give you joy. Ashe. 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 Okay, so uh, the next segment is our brother Jerry will be seated for the interview featuring our mama Marimbe. Yes, so. So, whilst Mr. Jerry is preparing for the setup, uh, our brother Odikro Nana Kobina Eson will give us short poem about we Africans. So let us welcome with a hand of applause. Nana Toboy! Hey. Hey. Let's have a talk. Let's talk about creation. Not the creation of Yahweh. Not Allah. But the creation of Petar. Let's talk about worship. Not the worship of Krishna. Not Jesus. Not Allah. But the worship of Petar. Way back before Amera. Let's talk about education. Not that of the Greece. Not the Europe. Education in the University of Waset. Way back before Timbuktu. Mm. Let's talk about civilization. Mm -hmm. Not that of ancient Mesopotamia no. mm. or ancient China, mm -hmm. but civilization of Al Kabula mm -hmm. with Kemet and the younger daughter. Yes, mm. Kemet. Let's talk about democracy, not Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. as the father. Mm -hmm. Democracy practiced by Tim mm -hmm. the king of ancient Ghana Empire. Mm -hmm. Let's keep talking, talking everything about Africa. So I'm an African, mm -hmm. I'm a black man. Mm -hmm. We are one with the universe. Mm -hmm. Don't disconnect me from nature. Mm. Don't give me wine. Okay. Don't give me liquor. Mm. Give me fruit. Give me vegetable. Something the animals eat to be edible. I'm a black man. I'm an African. I'm one with the universe. Don't tell me to speak in a foreign language. Allow me to pour in my mother's language. Yes. Don't tell me to wear clothes and tie. Allow me to wear my food and my tie. I'm an African. I'm a black man. I'm one with the universe. I'm not watching telenovelas at night. Let's gather around under the moon, sharing various states of anans, tales that ridicule those on the wrong path and applaud those on the right path. I'm an African. I'm a black boy. I'm one with the universe. Don't disconnect me from nature. Don't tell me to bleach my skin, because black is the root. Don't tell me to straighten my hair, because it is my antenna connecting to the universe. I'm an African. Mm -hmm. I'm a black boy. Mm -hmm. I'm one with the universe. Mm -hmm. Don't direct me to the hospital. I still have a pot of herbs on fire. I'm a black man. I'm an African. I'm one with the universe. Don't disconnect me from nature. I said, this man, this man was calm, humble, loving, caring at first sight. This man came walking, sweating, speaking with sweet voice. This man said he was not like other men. This man came to visit me, gave me words of encouragement, shallowed me with blessings. Time worked on. My heart wasn't too fast, but it fell for this man. This man, I trusted. This man, I fought in his absence. Time worked on. This man became the head of my family. This man who promised me heaven, gave me worse than hell. Who are you to rise against this man? All my kinsmen who rose against this man are in the prisons or the graveyard. This man is no other man, but the man who comes to you every four years, begging you for your thumb, for your thumb, for your thumb, for your thumb. Thank you. Wow.